Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we are going to be checking out the brand new Walmart exclusive, this is by The Loyal Subjects, this is their 5 inch Ninja Turtle series, specifically the Foot Clan action figure. 4-pack, or how I like to call it, the fall of the Foot Clan action figure 4-pack. I love the sprite arts that's all over the box. It looks fantastic. From the orange guy to the white guy, back to the blue, and the fuchsia color. He's not the dark purple of the usual Foot Clan. The back of the box, the packaging in general, is awesome. Well done, hands down, fantastic. Foot Clan, a little bit of a read-up here, kind of a mishmash of various Ninja Turtle incarnations, but yes, you do get four of basically the same figure, it's just all with the different colors, and then you get various different weapons that have been synonymous with all the different Foot Clan members from all the different video games over the years. Here's the barcode in case you want to screen grab it. I found mine at Walmart's and they are starting to hit store shelves now. And of course you open up the box, not only do you get to see the four different figures, but you get to see a little bit of a spin on a instruction booklet as well. You can see right there. So it's very cool. A lot of nostalgia in this, including the torn piece of paper with all the cheat codes across it, right? To this day, when I open my old video games on my shelves, I still find the pieces of paper with all the different cheat codes and hints and everything else. It's very cool to see that. And yeah, you can see inside the box, there's roughly about 34 accessories that you get in this box along with four action figures. I'm not gonna say much on the price, it is a little bit steep, let's be honest, but we'll see what you get for the price that it entails. So, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Walmart exclusive, the Loyal Subjects TMNT Bust Action, the Foot Clan action figure four pack. And while I got all you Foot Clan members here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old Toys, New Toys, Daily News Updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So, of course, here are all four action figures taken out of the box. And as I said previously, yes, you're getting four of the exact same figures, just in different colors. So, we'll go with this guy. He was always one of the toughest SOBs in the game, right? You know what I'm talking about. Always blocking, always throwing something. Yeah, this guy, he's, he's up to something, even as we speak. I'm going to be honest with you, if you've never had a Loyal Subject's best action figure, the articulation and how it articulates is not everyone's cup of tea. With the Ninja Turtle line, I do like what they are doing. It could be improved upon, of course, in very many ways. But for the Foot Clan member, you actually get a pretty solid articulated figure. It's just that in some instances, you go from paint to plastic, from paint to plastic, each and every way, and sometimes not always the colors of the joints will match up. But in the articulation of the head, it'll basically look left and right. You're not going to get much, if any, of up and down. He does have a semblance of a, we'll say, abdomen crunch-ish sort of deal, but not much. He has butterfly joints. I've been over this a million times. The articulation is what you make out of it. Some of it's good, some of it's bad. He's got double jointed elbows, he'll spin at the wrists. Down to the legs, they move pretty well. Again, it's not the most attractive articulation, especially, let's say, in the knees. It kind of gets kind of wonky. But at the end of the day, you are able to achieve a lot of Foot Clan ninja posing, especially when dealing with the video games. You got Foot Rocker as well. So overall, out of all of them, these ones seem to move a lot better than some of the Ninja Turtle figures that we have looked at in the past. So with this whole white gray Foot Clan guy, he's got a lot of different accessories, a lot of different weapons. You can interswap all the weapons. Each of the four characters has each of the four guns with their various colors on it. So that's a nice touch. He also has this throwing weapon, which you see in the game. Not rubbery like they are with the Ninja Turtles. This one's solid. And of course, you can give the spear to this guy. And it's done nice. He holds it nicely. He displays nicely. This is the nostalgia I have. Uh, articulation aside, because that's just not something that I particularly care about, it's how it looks on the shelf. And when you have all these guys, as you'll soon see, it's pretty darn cool, especially if you're an old video game fanatic like me. So with the blue foot soldier, right, we have these tuning force things. That's what I used to call them. I used to try to beat the guy. He just always just blocks you. So with this guy, 
you do get a sword, right? It's a nicely painted sword. You get a couple different throwing stars, different versions, which we have seen with the prior regular purple foot soldier. And then you got the whole tuning fork weapons. I know they're not tuning forks. Just, it's what I called them back in the day. It's going to be okay. But you can put them in that blocking stance and he can block you all day. And then we have the fuchsia foot soldier. Again, not quite the purple one. He is coming, don't you worry. This guy has his tonfa sticks, and this was in a few different video games of the past for the Ninja Turtles, and it totally works. And again, like I said, you can swap out the weapons. In the game, every single one of these different colored foot soldiers has all the different colored weapons, right? It's very cool. You can do whatever you want, but the tonfas look pretty cool. Now, this particular foot soldier comes with everything we've previously seen, a gun, a knife, throwing stars, but the tonfas are unique to him. At least that's the way it looks in the packaging. So I definitely like the way they look. He looks rad. It's very fun to see this. And then you have the orange foot soldier and he comes with the throwing knife. He comes with the sword. He comes with extra hands and we'll give him the gun, right? And you can give him a knife and do whatever you want, like I said. But this guy in particular, he doesn't have any of those extra weapons, minus this blaster gun. And that looks cool in and of itself. I love the way it looks. It's a little bit of a different orange compared to him, and that's okay. But in kind of looking at all of them together, right, some of them just don't match up in terms of the colors of the joints. But all of them are pretty much painted perfectly. There's no slop to these, which is nice to see, especially when looking at them in totality, all four on your shelf, waiting to do battle with your best action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And in the poses that you can achieve and the looks that you get, yeah, that's every bit the arcade or otherwise video game Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And like I said, with the purple one that was previously released along with these four, you're getting quite the colorful army of foot soldiers. And of course, when you couple him with Shredder, right? You have the best action Shredder. It's starting to look like a pretty rad collection on your shelf. I would say that all of these scale together beautifully, including Casey Jones. Now, one hiccup that I've brought up many times, the Ninja Turtles, if they were just shrunk down, it's they're very disproportionate, right? They're too tall and just in terms of their size, they don't match well with what we know about the Foot Soldiers and, of course, Shredder. If you took that mold for the Ninja Turtles and just shrunk them down, even the black and white ones, I think they would fit a whole heck of a lot better because, yes, they're just entirely too big. But once you have a full-on arcade brawl going on on your shelf, right, Tonfa Sticks blocking you, you got the music tuners just blocking you, they're always just blocking you, right, you got to figure out a way to uh, overcome them, but they just look great, and really looking in terms of what NECA does with their arcade line, no, these will not fit in, they're entirely too small, so if you're collecting Turtles in Time, NECA's is their own thing, these are more of, let's say, Game Boy, NES sort of foot soldiers in very many ways. Maybe even Sega Genesis, right? Hyperstone Heist. But yeah, they will pretty much scale only with themselves. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Walmart exclusive, the Loyal Subjects Best Action TMNT, the Fall of the Foot Clan box set. You've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything TMNT. And one thing before I leave you, I will say again, the price point is a little bit steep. If it was around 60, I would say home run, but it's a little steep. We'll just leave it at that. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, bring on some more arcade video game madness. I love when they're doing this, especially with the Shredder's Revenge and everything that just came out. I'm having a blast with the Ninja Turtles. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.